What's good you guys welcome back to the channel. If you are looking for a completely honest feedback on the Marrow app subject wise as well as faculty wise a comparison between the Marrow and the alternatives out there in the market then this video is just for you. If you want a complete review of the Marrow app I have already made a full 20 minute video on this which can be viewed right up here. It will answer all your questions regarding the Marrow app the pros versus the cons, Marrow versus Prep Ladder, Marrow subject wise review of the complete app and so much more. So please do go and watch that video after you're done seeing this particular one. So let's get started. Now coming to the subject wise analysis, if we talk about Marrow and all their subjects, it is totally subjective what your opinion is. So I would recommend each and every single one of you to look at the sample lectures that Marrow has put up on his YouTube channel. But that being said from my own personal experience of using the entire app, let's take it year by year. So first let's come to anatomy. Now, anatomy Dr. Raviraj sir, he makes it a very interesting module for you each and every single module by drawing the particular anatomical part by showing you images animations and certain mnemonics that I found really really useful that I did not find anywhere else and you learn these mnemonics in a very conceptual manner so that you don't forget it at the exam. Physiology is absolutely excellent, no doubts about it. Biochemistry by Dr. Rebecca James is out of the world. I don't think you'll be finding any other faculty honestly who is much better than Rebecca James ma'am. She is just awesome. I've never seen anyone make biochemistry so interesting, so engaging so that I can learn all of those cycles and those various enzymes and those various uh, concepts with so much clarity. No doubts over there. Coming to the second year subjects, let's talk about pathology. Now, pathology Dr. Ila Kandelwal makes a really good job of condensing Robbins for you. Picking and choosing what is important for us from Robbins and presenting to you in, in a manner which you will remember. She will explain the concepts further if it requires some conceptual clarity and provide you with the relevant images in pathology. And I felt while going through the medicine lectures that okay you know this was already covered by Dr. Ila Khandelwal in pathology so I don't have to listen to the pathology part of medicine. So it is that much in depth and I found the module really really useful. Coming to the other subjects of second year, let's talk about pharmacology. The pharmacology, the general pharmacology part was absolutely interesting. It was very engaging and the mnemonics that the faculty presented I could imbibe quickly and I could remember them. So that was really effective. But for the other part of pharmacology, I have heard that Dr. Gobind Garg of Prepladder is very very good compared to any other resource out there and personally I've seen some of his demo lectures and they are really interesting and probably much more engaging much more conceptual depth than any other resource out there so for, for, so for pharmacology you may want to refer to some other resource aside from marrow coming to microbiology I feel that the notes in microbiology are complete they are everything that you would want to know in microbiology and this will also help you in pathology and medicine. So I think the teacher does a really good job in explaining all the concepts wherever it should be explained and the notes most importantly in microbiology are complete. Forensic medicine also I feel marrow is really really good. The explanations of those words that are not so familiar to us, those medical legal terms the faculty does a really really good job at explaining those things for, so for basically for conceptual clarity is what I would want you to use forensic medicine for and the notes are quite complete. Now the third year faculty is the best in terms of those subjects. For example ENT the conceptual way that Dr. Manisha explains ENT with, with continuous revision throughout the entire module it feels as though you don't really have to go back and revise your notes because she gives us such a depth understanding of the subjects how the various anomalies the structures the diseases are related to each other 
and I didn't really feel that I was lacking in something, right? And I think that was very important take back from those lectures that it is complete. She gives you a very good conceptual understanding. She constantly revises the concepts as the modules go forward, and you are come back with a certain level of satisfaction that I have not found reading textbooks of ENT. Now, ophthalmology is a very technical subject, and there are a lot of things that you have to visualize because it's the eye, right? And Dr. Rajaratna Ma'am does such a really good job at this. She explains the eye anatomy so perfectly that when the diseases are discussed, you know exactly at the microscopic level what is wrong. And I think this is very important in technical subjects like ophthalmology, where your concepts are clear. and you just need to remember a few names specific names for the opacities for the diseases that are caused so that you can answer this mcq exams really really well so ophthalmology no problem whatsoever coming to the biggest subject of third year that is psm if you see online there's a lot of discussion whether it's marrow or prep ladder now dr vivek jain is the best faculty out there but i have not had any issues with dr mukmohit singh of maro and he gives so much of conceptual clarity especially in the base the preliminary chapters of your epidemiology screening infectious disease epidemiology concepts of disease and health that it will make a smooth sailing of the other chapters now this is totally a debatable topic which faculty is better So I'm willing to engage with anyone in the comment section below as to who is much better but I have not had any issues with the faculty of PSM Dr Mukmohit Singh so you should probably go with Maro for this let's talk about the final year subjects so let's pick up surgery Dr Rohan Khandelwal makes it very clear that his teachings are enough not only for NEET PG but also for your final year university exams So this is of course an added bonus that you're getting along with marrow. So go for marrow blindly when it comes to surgery. Now let us talk about medicine. Now Dr. Rakesh Nair has over 200 videos in medicine. 200. Now this is because he takes you and walks you through each and every single concept about a particular topic. He starts from physiology, goes to pathology, microbiology, and talks about the relevant concepts in medicine. Now so much of in-depth learning is required in a subject like medicine, but there are 200 videos. So what I would recommend is that you pick and choose. If there are some topics that you have not understood to a significant extent, you can refer to the videos. The other topics which are not frequently asked in NEET PG, you can refer from other source, which will give you a quick summary or a quick overview of that particular topic this is exactly how i believe you should use the medicine module in marrow obstetrics and gynecology i haven't started using primarily because i'm focusing right now on surgery medicine and your third year subjects so when i will start using obs and gyne i'll be updating with you on my opinion on that particular subject so for now i reserve my opinion in obstetrics and gynecology coming to the other short subjects of final year them being dermatology psychiatry orthopedics anesthesia radiology i believe that a more emphasis should be placed on the completeness of the notes on the completeness of the video lectures and not per se the faculty is coming from because i've seen all the faculties across all the platforms and they tend to be mostly equal in these sub subjects and that is exactly what i've noticed and when you see the marrow handwritten notes the pdf the online version of it it seems pretty complete and it seems like a one stop solution for your short subjects of final year so i don't think you should venture beyond marrow for these short subjects of final year and i've also seen that uh, dr abbas ali of orthopedics is which is you the subject of orthopedics with so much love so much passion along integrating anatomy radiology and orthopedics that i am spellbound to how a particular person can make orthopedics so so interesting when it was so mundane 
and I was not able to visualize those concepts in a textbook. So go for Marrow for these short subjects in final year. So there you go it guys, a comprehensive review of Marrow edition 4.0. At the end of the day, you need to pick what suits best for you and this is of course a certain perspective. If you enjoyed the video and you found it was informative, do hit the like button below. Comment in the comment section below how you felt about the video if you have any more doubts and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in the future I'll be updating you on any new features of Marrow and I'll also be making a comprehensive series, a comprehensive review of each and every single faculty over at Marrow and everything in between. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.